Tyler Tettleton's first touchdown as a Bobcat was on the ground in a very important win at Buffalo in 2009. What happened since? Well, 61 total touchdowns, 46 through the air, 15 on the ground. He's broken 23 school records. He's ready for his senior season. More touchdowns to come, more records to fall. Tyler joins us now, Ohio Star quarterback. Do you remember that ball game, 2009, and can you believe that all of this has happened since? Yeah, no, I, I remember every uh, every single minute of that uh, of that game just because it was my first touchdown, and you know those are the type of things that you kind of cherish, and um, you know love to have and and remember, and um, you know, and that was a great year for us too. Uh, it was my freshman year, and um, you know. We went to the MAC championship, got a bowl game, and so it was a really fun year. Yeah, I think Dante Foster said it very well at, at media day. He's in line perhaps to break the touchdown record from the receiving side. He said if you break individual records, generally the team has success. From your standpoint, too, you've broken a lot of records. You've had a lot of great success individually. That's just led to team success, hasn't it? Oh, definitely, and uh, you know me. Not None of that stuff really matters right now. It's all about what we do as a team, and um, you know. But anytime you're having that type of success, uh, hopefully that'll you know translate over to to us winning. And um, the past couple of years, it's it's shown that it has. Now we talked during spring ball about the momentum from the bowl win, um, and that led into the off season as well. Talk about the importance of what happened down in Louisiana uh, at the end of last year. I don't think that we could understate how important that was for your ball club moving forward. Oh, it's huge. And I mean, e even the year before, um, you know, against Boise in the Boise uh, Bowl, um, you know, Idaho, and that, that was great for us. And that was had so much uh, momentum going into the, ne the next year and, um, you know, really helped us a lot going into, um, you know, last year and, and preparing for uh, Penn State and all that stuff that, that happened. And, um, you know, hopefully this year will be just, just the same way. And we're looking forward to the challenge in Louisville and getting ready for the season to start. And hopefully that momentum will carry into this year. Yeah, the Bobcats, of course, caught fire nationally last year. There was that BCS ranking. There were national poll rankings. Um, and you had to deal with, with uh, the, the greatness of, of having the success. Uh, obviously, it didn't go the way you guys wanted to, but you still got the bowl win. But talk about what the experience in handling all of that stuff, the outside stuff, stuff does for you because hopefully you have to deal with it again this year yeah hopefully and that, that's the plan you know um, you know we expect and, and hope to win every single game and um, you know and I always say you know we got to take it one game one week at a time and um, you know we've got a great coaching staff and um, you know great leadership on our team to, to allow us to do that but um, you know that helps so much going into this year you know knowing that we've been there and and know what it takes to, to be there so um, you know that's definitely going to help going into this year and um, you know who knows what will happen and uh, we're just excited for for this year talk about what it's been like for you to be able to manage the success and manage it the right way both in the classroom on the field and off the field because there's never been an issue there never will be an issue with you in, in dealing with things away from football yeah I think it's just my personality that that helps uh, with that situation and uh, you know I give a lot of credit to my mom and my dad uh, you know they they've done so much and um, you know really uh, helped me grow up to be the to be the person that I am today and you know so I give a lot of credit to them and then of course my coaching staff uh, you know we have one of the greatest coaching staffs in the country and um, and it's just, it's just great to, to be in a place like Athens where it's it's low-key and just a kind of place that just fits me and um, you know so that's kind of helped a lot and um, you know and two also my, my teammates you know I try to surround myself with uh, really good people and we've got really good teammates here and um, yeah, so it's just been a perfect fit. Tyler likes to get other people involved. You have a lot of guys, a lot of tools to be able to use this year. Talk about being at the helm of such a high-powered, multifaceted offense. Could be a lot of fun this year. Yeah, it seems like every single year it just keeps getting better and better. And uh, you know, that, give credit to our coaches for for bringing in the guys that we we've brought in. And um, you know, I, I I love playing around these guys. And um, you know, every single year, I mean. We get guys like Dante, Bo, um, and then of course our offensive line is always so good, and and so it, it's really fun to play with those guys and to to see a bunch of those guys too, um, you know, kind of grow up and and get better. And so we're gonna have a lot of guys that are gonna have a chance to make big plays for us, and uh, you know, excited for the offensive line too. The bowl success has been there. Division titles have been there for the Bobcats. Uh, the back-to-back -back bowl wins. Uh, does that even more magnify? further magnify the importance of getting it done 
on the MAC level and winning that elusive MAC championship this year? Yeah, and that, that's that's been the biggest thing ever since um, you know I've been here. What I've wanted to accomplish, not only uh, you know as a as a player, but just for the team. You know, I, I think it's it's the one thing that ever since Coach Solich set out um, to do here was to win the. To, to win the MAC championship, and um, you know we've got everything in place this year to, to do that. But like I said, uh, you know we just got to take it just one game at a time and just focus on um, you know the week that we're in. And um, I think everybody knows. I mean, the, the MAC is so tough every single week. So um, you know we can't look too far down the road and and uh, just take it one week, one game, game at a time. Speed, agility, athleticism. He brings it all to the table. He's Ohio star quarterback Tyler Tettleton. Thanks as always for the time. Yeah, thank you. This is coverage of Bobcat football on Bobcat TV.